How's it going, everyone? We are back with some more of the council. If you remember last episode, we finished off our investigation of the murder of Elizabeth, and I ended up turning around and saying it was um, a suicide. And at first, I was really unhappy that I'd done that because uh, Mortimer turned around and was like, oh, this is unacceptable. I'm going to take over the case. But then at the end of the big conversation we had all had uh, with him, because there was a lot of talking, um, I actually came to the conclusion that I was happy that I said it was a suicide and he took over because it meant I didn't blame anyone uh, for what had happened effectively. Because... It got made to look like Jack Peru. I don't think it was him. And the way he spoke made it seem like he knew he was being set up, but he just had to go along with it and deal with it. I don't think it was him. Um, so I'm glad I didn't blame him. Okay, let's go in here. This is Elizabeth's room. Oh, this is the tower room. This is not Elizabeth's room. Okay. Okay. Honey, the remedy of their burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? The man with the sword. The Bonaparte had a sword. Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. Bonaparte had a sword. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Peter's opponent of the first Christians, St. Paul is suddenly struck by the call of Jesus Christ and converts. It's the best known conversion in Christian history, which teaches us that even enemies of Christ can be saved and even become his greatest apostles after finding faith. From what I can recall, the account of his conversion can be found in the epistles to the Galatians, the Philippians, the Corinthians, and the Acts of the Apostles. We must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is onto us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal. The curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. It's not got us to look at a painting like this before, so I feel like... Okay. And then there was something around here. What's this disc? Oh, that reminds me of the ones my mother collects. It's magnetic. Can I go onto the balcony? Not through that door, I can't. Or that door. Okay. Now, oh, there is another room, though. Go on, open up. Let me in. It appears to be locked on the other side. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, like a key falling to the floor. Use a disc. See if it works. Oh, baby. No points needed. You know it. Oh, yeah. Good to know that it was uh, magnetic. Well, it is now. <laughs> it's open. Only because I opened it. 
Okay. What we got? A chest with the occult symbol representing air. How many keys for that? A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Saint Paul painted by Guido Rini. The four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the thirteenth apostle. Saint Paul Man with, the sword. with the sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know what does that mean? I think I can work that out. Okay. No, I can't because this book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. This volume dates from the first edition of Gutenberg. There's a reason it's I can't, it's because I can't remember what the 11th book in the Bible is. And that was my first thought, but I don't know what it is. Whoops. In Hebrew. Someone spent years studying this Bible. Passed upon all men, for all have sinned. I can't believe I missed it. Chapter 11, say then, verse 11. They stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, Salvation is coming to the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. That what took me sound? such a long Dear time. Me. I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle. The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? The paintings. Well, you look youngest. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Pick up the package, you know where, okay. We must... F it's imperative where uh, him behind me if possible. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust.
something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. This is really what difficult. Does that mean? Can I look at this frame? Inspect the surroundings. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Okay. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn, with a sentence in Hebrew. Choosing the Hebrew alphabet is no coincidence. It's it's got to be a reference to the Bible. There's nothing worth noticing here. No, nothing of value here. There are finger marks, deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. Back to the Bible. Something to do with Hebrews and the number eight. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew and chief of the priests which did so. Thou hast put all things under him. Six and eight. For in that Not two and eight. Put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. This is difficult. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the acts counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Oh my God. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Which one was Paul? Was this Paul? St. John. No, this was John. By Guido Rini. Paul's on the wall. This is Paul. To the left. To his left. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Okay. This is Paul, right? Painting of St. Mark. Oh no, this is Mark. The apostles by Guido oh, no, Paul's on the wall over there. Oh, God, I'm doing bad here. This one was Paul. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Right, guys, I'm going to have to end it here because this one is proving to be really, really difficult. Um, this, I'm not smart enough for this. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, this has been, this has taken me half an hour so far. I'm still in this room. I'm struggling like hell to understand all these clues. But we'll come back to it in the next episode. We'll try and figure this out. Um, and I hope you guys are sticking with me. If you guys have any ideas on where it could be, let me know in the comments down below because I'm stumped on this one. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today, though, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell, drop a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody.